Hi, Rx team. Welcome to this 20-minute intermediate flexibility class. We've got our beautiful Reforma, your fabulous selves, and that bad boy there, the box. We need it at the near the end of the class. All right, we're gonna go and go deeper in the practice of your Reforma, and we're gonna concentrate on lengthening those muscles, but also, again, to strengthen and to fortify those muscles. Uh, my ABCs of all of my classes here at Rx, your alignment, your breathing, and your centering. We're going to be focusing on that again and again. I will give you that love nag again and again. Okay, let's go in a little warm up. Let's get into your platform. Feet hip width apart to start this. The weight is on the heels of your feet. You're going to roll that shoulder back and down, belly button towards the lower back, and we're going to go and roll down. Lead with the crown of the head. You've got the, the green. So a very light spring, and we're going to push it out into a plank. Delava towards the lower back, bring it back in. You can slightly bend those knees and then slowly rolling up. Just mobilizing your spine up. Again, tuck those chin down. Make your arms very heavy. Lead with the crown of the head, going into that plank. From here, we can bring that left foot and just pulse it out. Pulse for three, two, and one. Exhale deeply. Bring it back to plank. Inhale and exhale. Bring it back to plank. Let's go for one more set. Again, we're just trying to open up those hips and engaging those abdominals as we put those pulses a little higher. Exhale and push. From here, we're gonna bring those knees, hover those knees in, and exhale out. Inhale and exhale out. We're gonna go for one more set. Inhale and exhale out. Bring your carriage back home, roll it back down, roll up the body, and let's just go for eight squats. Inhale and exhale. Exhale as you lift. This is still part of your little warm up. For four, for three, for two, keep the weight on the heels of your feet, for one. And then we're gonna safely step off your platform. You're gonna bring your foot bar up to four. Changing into Green, white, and red. All right, so green, white, and red. We're gonna go into lying down into your carriage. Bring your hands on that side, belly button towards the lower back. This time we're gonna go into one leg press, lifting your right leg on a tabletop. Point the toes or flex it. Inhale, prepare, exhale, press. Feel the feedback on the heels of your feet. And as soon as you feel you're stable, Bring that leg up and over your foot bar. Inhaling and exhaling. That's it. Exhale as you press. Be kind to those knee joints. So lengthening those legs without hyperextending the knees. From here, we're gonna push it up towards the ceiling. A leg extension. Exhale. We're gonna go for two more. I think the poses are good, getting higher. And they're gonna lengthen. Bring the heels back down. Bring your hands into your hips. And that one alignment, your A, alignment. From here, bringing that left leg on a tabletop. Inhale, prepare, exhale, and lengthen the leg. Let's go for two more. And as soon as you feel stable on the hips, lengthen that leg out. And then bring it under and over. This is a unilateral move, so there's a tendency for your hips to go side to side. So just be careful with that. Exhale, press, bring it back in. Lengthen that leg out. The weight is on that heel of your right foot. Lengthen it out, and then lengthen that leg out. Bring your heels back down, bring your hands, and then bring it in. All right, we're gonna stay on this resistance. It's a little warm-up, part of your warm-up. All right, we're gonna grab your big straps. Push away, slightly push away from your foot bar, and as soon as that's stable, bring the other arch of your feet. Lengthen that leg out. So from here, we're gonna go into heels together, toes out. We're gonna go frog kicks. Inhale, exhale for us. Really trying to engage your inner thigh as you lengthen. Try to imagine your heels pressing 45 degrees out. Call from there. We're gonna go two more. 
we're not releasing the engagement of those abdominals, we're gonna lengthen that leg out. And we're gonna press it out. Let's just do four of this. Inhale, flexing from the hips, lengthening it. And press it, flexing from the hips, really feel that stretch on your hamstrings, push it out. From there, we're gonna open it to the side, inhale, exhale, as you press. Just maybe do four circles as well. Inhale, flex that out on an exhale. Release and lift that leg up. Press it to the side, exhale. We're gonna go for one more. Lengthen that leg out. Bring it to the side. Exhale and press. All right, from here, let's just go eight beats. Hip width apart, eight, seven, six, five, whoo, four, three, feel that leg, two, and a one. All right, from here, we're gonna bring that leg out. We're gonna open it to the side. We're gonna keep that carriage there in one position. Your whole TVA is engaged at the moment. You're gonna bring your palms out where the straps are. Put some a little pressure, push that out. And from here, we're gonna transfer those palms Put a little bit of pressure, so there's feeling that length on those muscles. Bring it in, inhale, press it out. Wow, and press, exhale. You got this, you got this. You can go slower as well if you needed to. I'm a little fast for your intermediate class, but it is your class, so go a little slower if you needed to. Let's go for one more. I'm pressing, putting too much pressure to it, more pressure, and then press it out. Inhale and exhale, and as soon as I think I'm ready, I'm gonna press it up, bring it back to 45 degree leg. I'm gonna go a short spine massage this time. So, inhale, lift it, those legs up. Exhale, roll your spine up towards the back of your reformer. Flex, bend those knees, and then roll your spine back up, exhale, and press. Let's do it again. We're gonna lengthen the leg out towards the ceiling, or towards, and roll it up on an exhale. Bring your elbows towards your shoulder pads, roll your spine back down, exhale, go back to that 45 degree leg. Let's do it again. All right, this is not just a spine articulation exercise, but also an abdominal work. Keep the hips and the ribcage in that space. We're gonna go for two more. Yes, can you feel that nice length? Inhale and exhale, bring the knees, roll the spine, exhale and press. Suddenly, catch my breath there. We're gonna go for one more. Lengthen that leg out, inhale. Exhale, bring it back up. This is because it's my last one. I wanna feel that love on my spine. And bring it back out. My little burner, let's go eight beats. Eight, seven, six, five, four, 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 three, four, two, four, one. Bending those knees. Woo! All right, release those straps and bring that feet on your foot bar. Rolling to the sides. This time, have a little wiggle, have a little shake up. We're gonna change into blue. So blue spring, we're gonna go into your mermaids. Let's bring the left shin, pressing into your shoulder pads. Your right is on a triangle. So this is also a hip opener at the moment. Bring your hands, your left hand into your foot bar, lengthen the arms away. Inhale, prepare, or inhale as you press. Exhale, roll it back to the side, and then lift the chest up. Press it out, bring it to the side, feel that max stretch before bringing it back in. All right, I've got too much pressure there because I've got an extra red. I'm gonna pull that red up. I'm gonna go in a blue, just a blue. Lengthen those arms out, inhale, prepare. Inhale, exhale, max flexibility to the side, sideward flexibility. Before you roll to that side, inhale. I even get a little sweat now because it's, again, the intensity is a little higher on your intermediate class. And then press that heavy air to the side. We're gonna go for one more. 
keep on pressing the hips down as well to so open up that hip inhale prepare Op offer that heart in front exhale press bring it back in and then lift those arms up let's ev even out the work you guys safely change into your other side all right bringing your left shin pressing into your shoulder pads right hand on the side lengthen those arms out think about sideward flexibility here think about the maximum and as soon as you feel your max bring those hands towards the foot bar adjust if you needed to lift the chest up shoulders away from the ears energy in the crown of the head push it out to a nice strong flat back as soon as you feel that max bring it in lift it up we're gonna go two more inhale prepare exhale as you bring those arms up bring it towards your foot bar lift it up let's go for one more for the road here lengthen inhale prepare exhale oh i forgot that sequence there lengthen those arms up bring it in and let's go for one stay here for two beats inhale and exhale and then go into a flat back all right bring it side the box is calling me at the moment this bad boy is calling me all right let's bring it to the side of your reformer from here we're gonna go into your left foot into the corner of your box guide it first that body right foot into your shoulder pad from here we're gonna roll that shoulder backing down bring your hands into your hips initially feel that stable position hips and shoulder facing the front of your reformer exhale into a long lunge feel that stretch from the whole leg those left glute is active hips and shoulders is square lift up you're fighting against gravity here and you're fighting against the resistance coming from your springs exhale as you press bring it back in now we're giving more love so we're staying a little longer there lengthen that leg out knees in line where the ankle is and then lift it up Whew, how are you how are you guys feeling lengthen it will test it will test a lot of your balance as well because you're engaging the whole core all right from there stay on a hinge position you can bring your hands into your chest or bring it into your hips or lengthen cool so i'm bringing my mind into my hips i'm bending my knees inhale exhale press so not just about length but also think about strength if we can add a little bit of strength isn't it exhale we're gonna go for two more and we're gonna go for last one and then lengthen the arms for four for three for two for one bring it back down all right we're gonna go into your uh, your other side bring it back in all right let's do it you guys bring it to that side bring your right foot at the corner of your box your left foot into your shoulder pads guide and fix that center bring your hands into your hips chest nice and proud inhale prepare exhale as you go into that nice long lunge bring it back in really fight against gravity here inhale it is very normal to have a weaker side this is my weaker side you can see it i am really engaging that whole tba inhale and exhale that is your corset of muscle inside you inhale exhale as you press bring it back in well done everybody we're gonna release it out to back slightly hinge that upper body and then we're gonna bring that knee in exhale press Shh. let's just go for four for three the weight is on the heels of your feet for two let's go for one and a hold for four for three for two for one press it up let's go into your boxes have a little breather roll that shoulder shake it up a little bit 
bring those boxes out of that, just on the side for me. Changing into, let's go number three on your foot bar. And then let's go on a blue or a green. Cool, blue or green or nothing. All right, let's have, uh, let's go at the back first. So I'm gonna end it seeing you all. Let's have your feet on your foot bar. Bring it on the carriage. From here, we're gonna exhale. We've done this in the beginner's class, but this in the intermediate, we're gonna release it out straight away. We're gonna keep that, that sequence on those arms, push it out, bring it in. Inhale and exhale. All right, lift those arms up. Those whole TBA is engaged. Exhale and press. Again, even on a descent, the going down part. Let's keep that uplift in the body. Press that heavy air. Press that heavy air down. Press it down. Let's go for two more. Lengthen that leg out. Lift it up. From here, I'm just watching you guys. I'm just watching you. Ready. You got this. We got the steam. Release that out. Lift it up. Feel that energy as you push it in. Roll it out. All right, safely step into the floor. Let's transfer your left foot. Really being solid on that platform and then bring that right foot into your carriage. Are we ready? All right, roll that shoulder backing down. Keep that uplift. Release that up and bring it in. All right, we got those arms, lengthen. Lift the arms up, press that heavy air down, and then exhale as you lift. Again, a little general rule in breathing, if you can't remember the breathing pattern, as soon as you're exerting effort, exhale. Press it down, or if you can't still remember it as well, sometimes I can't, I breathe normally. Inhale and exhale, release those arms, you got this. Team, lift those arms up. Press it down, exhale down. We're gonna go for two. Lengthen those legs away. Bring those arms up, press it down. I've got a little even sweat here. We gotta go for last one. Press it up, lengthen those arms, energy on those fingertips. We're not losing that energy, energy in the crown of the head. Lift it up, press it down. Roll that shoulder. We're gonna bring your feet back into your platform, changing into a green spring. Lift those blue up. Or are we gonna go light on this one? We're gonna go in a little cool down. Rolling that shoulder, lift the arms up towards the ceiling. Let's bring your pulses a little slower, but also we're just gonna roll down. Tuck that chin down. Rolling down, lead with the crown of the head. You can bring those knees slightly bent so it's soft. Bring your arms very heavy. From here, transfer that weight. Lengthen those arms away. Bell about towards the lower back. Those hips is facing those, the, the floor. Bring your legs out. Feel that stretch, yes. And if you wanna go deeper, go deeper in that stretch. Good one, all right. From there, bring that carriage back in, and then go back into that beautiful plank. Release that right leg out. Give some love on those muscles. All right, the weight is on that heel. If you wanna go deeper, press those shoulder pads, lengthen it out. All right. Let's go bring it back in. Bring your feet back on the foot bar and then or platform lift the hips up this time feeling that stretch on that whole leg if you want to go deeper grab that under your platform and then feel more stretch of those hamstrings you got this if you don't want to of course you can just bring your hands into the back where your ankles are all right, rolling up. Roll that shoulder. Bring your feet back down. 
Bring your body on a sit. Lead, bring your arms up to the side. Inhale, prepare. Exhale as you rotate. Bring your hand at the side of your right leg. Lengthen, shoulders away from the ears. Let's end this class feeling long, a little tired, but strong. Bring it back in. Feel that opening of that chest to the side. All right, bring your right hand at the back and then lift the chest up. Slightly lift the chin up. I think we're good. Release that out. Exhale. <sighs> lift it up. <sighs> From here, release those arms up towards the ceiling. Push through the heels of your feet. We still got that energy there. Exhale, push. <sighs> How I end most of my classes as well. We're gonna go on a roll down. Just to remind the spine that is nice and soft, it is strong. Release those hips and then roll it. Back up, roll that shoulder. Team, we've done another workout together. I am Julius and I hope to see you guys again very soon in my other classes here at Team RX. See you guys. Well done.